May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. May 10, 2024, Friday of the Sixth Week of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, that you shall mourn and weep, but the world will rejoice. And you shall be greatly saddened, yet your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is giving birth, has sorrow, because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to the child, then she no longer remembers the difficulties, because of the joy, for a man has been born into the world. Therefore, you also, indeed, have sorrow now. But I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and no one will take away your joy from you. And in that day you will not petition me for anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, if you ask the Father for anything in my name, he will give it to you. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Are you willing to endure temporary hardships for the sake of greater blessings and joy in God's plan for your life? When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish, because her hour has arrived, but when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain, because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. John 16 verse 21 This truth can certainly be extended to any form of anguish we experience for a good reason. Note that the pain experienced in childbirth is pain for a good and holy reason. Therefore, the pain is forgotten, in a sense, when the mother sees and holds her newborn child. That suffering is forgotten, in the sense that it is transformed into joy, by the birth of a child. There is much in life that can cause anguish. In today's Gospel, Jesus goes on to say to his disciples, so you also are now in anguish. He says this because he had just finished speaking to them about his coming departure to the Father and about the suffering that they would all experience in the form of persecution. But then he says to them that after he departs and they no longer see him, they will then see him again and will rejoice. And he says, on that day, you will not question me about anything. This is an important line to understand. Anguish or any form of suffering, can tempt us to question our lives, and even to question God. It is clear that after Jesus was killed, the disciples questioned everything. They were confused and frightened. All appeared to be lost. Then, to a lesser degree, after Jesus ascended into heaven, and prior to him sending the Holy Spirit, the disciples would have also experienced confusion. Why did Jesus leave them? Why didn't he stay longer? Who was going to lead them now? These and many other similar questions would have arisen in their minds. So also with us, when things do not go as planned, or when things take a painful turn in our lives, we can immediately question and even doubt the perfect plan of God. If things fall apart because of our sin, then repentance is the remedy. But if things fall apart, in the sense that life becomes difficult, then we should especially listen to the words of Jesus today. When anguish in life happens because we are fulfilling God's will, we must see that anguish as a means to a much greater good. Just as the pains of childbirth lead to the gift of a child, so the pains of bringing forth God's will in our lives will lead to the presence of God himself. Patient endurance is a virtue that is especially important in this case. For example, the anguish of overcoming an addiction, or of praying when we don't feel like praying, or of forgiving someone who hurt us, 
are all examples of anguish turning into blessings. Very often, combating our own selfish will is difficult. But the fruit of engaging in such a battle within us is joy. There is joy found in victory over sin. Joy is found in persevering in prayer. Joy is found in every difficulty we endure for the kingdom of God. But the joy is not always our first experience. It is only experienced when we patiently endure the situation. Reflect today upon any form of anguish you are currently enduring for the glory of God or anything you are currently avoiding because it seems difficult to do. Do not shy away from these difficulties. See them as a means to a glorious end. Endure the labor pains of the purification and mission God is calling you to by looking beyond the difficulties you initially experience so that you will see the end result that awaits you. Let us pray. My glorious Lord, you endured your passion with perfect virtue. You never wavered from fulfilling the will of the Father, and the fruit of your perseverance was the glory of the resurrection. Please help me to patiently endure the crosses in my life, and give me hope to see that from them, you will bring forth the good fruit of eternal joy. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.